All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Arbutus once again, and we are here for part uh, two of Outer Wilds. So let's get back into it. We'll talk a little bit about what we're doing today. Here we are. We are still on Atten Rock. Let's check our camera. Nothing going on down there. Yep, we are still on Atten Rock. And uh, we're about to go back to our... Wait, what the fuck? Oh my goodness. Well. Well, holy shit. But <laughs> I didn't even know you could die in this game. Are those real recordings of what I was doing, or are those just screenshots? That looks like what I actually did. Everything, all the way back. All the way back and finishing on the same statue that started it all. Ooh. There's that explosion in space again. And we have the launch codes. What the fuck? And now we do it all again, huh? Uh, hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ship's all fueled and ready to go. Did, did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. No, it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Well, I had no idea this was going to be a cyclical game. That's cool. I wonder what triggered it. Is this supernova on a timer? Or is it simply because I just discovered that ruin? Is it because I just read all those glyphs and stuff? Wow. I really have no clue. Well, we don't need to do anything in the village. Gonna want to get the launch codes from the observatory. Uh, oh yeah, I already got them. Huh, must be inhaling more fumes than I realized. That stuff is potent. You're telling me, brother. Well, if you got the codes, I'm not gonna stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. All right. Well, what do y'all say to getting back up there, huh? Man. Like, I just started this game up seconds after I... Like, this game has just been paused in the background while I up uploaded my last video. And I come back, and <laughs> within five seconds, the sun has exploded on me. Woo! Sorry there, I had to edit out a little cough and a sneeze. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just I'm just surprised at where that last video ended. If I'd waited five more seconds, that would have been a much better ending to the last video. Uh, oh well, I guess that's what you get for doing a blind playthrough, huh? Where the hell were we? Wow, I'm still fried from watching the entire solar system explode. Okay. Right, so this is the Bramble Seed on our own world. And despite the fact that we loop through time, this is still available here. Um, the eye locator, green, I guess it means it's important, or I haven't... Uh, yeah, it must mean it's important or something. And there is still, of course, the Southern Observatory on Brittle Hollow, which is also where one of the astronauts with a banjo is living. Brittle Hollow is the next world out. Um, you know, it sure seems like that's a good place to start. 
Although I am curious about the, um, what is it called? The dark bramble seed that we found here on Timber Hearth because I was getting harmonica music from that. You know what? Um, do I want to go do that? Yeah, let's go do that. I'm just going to go take care of that real quick. Um, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am being indecisive. Let's get out of here. We're going to go explore the South Pole. We'll go check out the South Pole of another world here. Ooh. The interloper is actually pretty close. I wouldn't mind getting a look at that. Uh, it's flying away fast, man. We're going to be cruising pretty close here to this. 2,000 meters. A couple thousand meters. But you know what? This is not my destination right now. Um, I am looking for... Oh. Oh, goodness. All right. I hope again there's no penalty for repeated deaths. Huh, and then I watched the most recent playthrough. And we're back. Okay. So, admittedly, I'm getting the hang of flying. I should have known there'd be a lot of gravity on the sun. I suppose I know this, the uh, star probably has a lot of gravity. I should have been retro boosting instead of just uh, letting myself fall into it. Let's try that again. Let's try that one more time. Let's see, there's Bramble Hearth. Right? Or Brittle Hollow. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is just get myself going this way. And we'll bring down our vectors here. Close in on this thing. There we go. Bring our vectors right down. Cool. And we're heading straight for the planet. I'm hoping we're in its gravity well. In fact, we're heading straight for it probably means that. We're also coming in hot. So if I learned anything from falling into the sun a moment ago, we will take her easy. And we're trying to get to the south pole too. Let's see, we'll get ourselves a little ho ho uh, hover here. Let's see if we can't find our banjo player. Ah, right in here. So, you know what, we're just gonna try to get down safely here. And actually the camera is pretty handy for landing. I don't see the entrance to this place. So let's just come right down in a clear spot. This should do the trick. This thing has quite a bit of gravity, it seems like. Maybe more than Timber Hearth. But we survived it. Wow. Uh, and by survived it, I mean only died once on the journey. Wait, can I please get back up? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I forgot the suit. Whoo! That was pretty close to suffocation out here in space. And here we are, for the first time, touching down on another world. We've got the lantern flying past. Shooting globs off into space. There's the Sojourner, relatively close. How close is that thing? Can't measure it with this. But... pretty close to the South Pole, as you can see on the map to the left there. So let's head on down and see if we can't find our buddy. Man, there's so much cool stuff to see. Oh, shit. 
Good lord. Uh, I wonder if that can kill me. Seems like many things can just go right ahead and kill me. Uh, well, I found a biodome, that's for sure. That is a distant planet. That's not what we're looking for here. Huh. From here we can hear the harmonica and the whistling from the moon. Here's another spacecraft. Cool, this must be an older model of what we're flying. Looks pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, pretty similar. I don't know, a little jankier perhaps. A couple more wooden parts. Outer Wilds Ventures. That's us, baby. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, and that ship... In that the ship went down, and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would have barely laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I, uh, haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door's broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there, if there were one. Probably. Can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Interesting. This door is fully busted, huh? Sure looks like it. Uh, alrighty. So this is leading us to the equator. I guess we'll head this way. Just have little flashes of eclipses as these tiny worlds spin around. Can I fly here? No. Too much gravity to fly. Yeah, almost, almost one gravity, which I'm assuming is our homeworld gravity. Timber Hearth, the gravity of Timber Hearth. Man, so this place is just under more or less constant bombardment from the lantern up here, huh? Getting close to the equator. Oh, there's a pretty nice alignment. Getting a couple of the tracks there. Oh wow, there's trees on this planet too. And a campfire, that's probably a good sign. Or smoke anyway. Oh. Trees detected. Excellent, excellent. Oh. Nope, that's not the one. But I heard banjos right around here, huh? Just beneath me. Don't die. Thank you. Is it in here? What the hell is this stuff? Oh, weird. Oh, wow. Some Nomai skeletons. Bunch of Nomai ruins. Pretty well destroyed. Look ancient. Ghost matter detected nearby. Oh shit. Um, I have no idea where that is. Look. Timber Hearth Camp. Aha. The journey here from the South Pole has been, um, I'm gonna go with harrowing because of, um, all the meteors, but hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little, and there's some sort of old Nomai path that starts across from my campsite. Inside the ruined building was building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Alrighty, a 
across from your camp through the building full of trees. Alright. Um, I can't get in here though, my man. How did you get in here, dude? And there's the stairs leading down. Um... Uh huh. Well, is it actually in here? Let's see. Can I hear anybody? Oh, Jesus! My God, those meteors! He's beneath me. He is. He did find a way down. We know that much. And we've got ghost energy over this way. I don't think I have a camera with which to try to photograph it and see where exactly it is. I can't get around. Is it possible to come down on top of this thing? Give us another meteor. How does one even get out of this little pit here? Doesn't look like it was long ago he was here. Oh, I can roast a marshmallow. I can doze off. No, I don't think I wanted to do that, but I'll give it a shot. Oh. <laughs> Time is ticking. Alright. We really don't want to waste uh, any more time than we have to, since I'm not sure when it is the sun explodes. Nothing to do with this alien stuff. Doesn't look like dropping down in here would be safe. Oh, we can get nice. With the jetpack, we get a pretty good boost up here. That's good to know. Huh. Some sort of know my storage device. Down the stairs we go. Like our friend said, we can handle this. Ooh, that's right. Okay. So these change our orientation along the walls. This is actually where these things were discovered, which I think is our main anti-grav technology as well that we even use in our ships. So let's just cruise on down this wall real careful-like and take a look around. Wow, the whole planet's hollow. What in the... Was this happening while we were on the surface? Pieces falling in from the planet? Wow, I had no idea. Is that visible from the outside? I feel like I gotta hurry up. Um, what is this thing? Is this in anything? Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Oh, that's how I take pictures, too. I forgot about that. Anyway, let's check out this text. Gravity cannon, east 400 meters. That would be this way, right? So, uh, let's check this thing out again. How do I do this? Launch. Take a snapshot. So I can just send this thing anywhere. Get our scout back. What is this, a gravity cannon? Is that right? Gravity cannon, east 400 meters. Not to worry. Is this thing still collapsing more and more, huh? I must say that makes me mighty uncomfortable. Let's see. We've got the dome. That looks like the biodome on the southern uh, south pole of this world. Something in the middle. Something on another ice planet. I don't know if these are all supposed to represent things on this world or what. That looks like the pieces of the ship that we saw uh, getting destroyed every time we wake up. Let's see. 
Her, well, that was deeply unpleasant. Made it this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good, since I uh, used up a lot of my supply screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down bef below so I can refill my tank. Alright, oxygen below us. We're going to have to keep moving that way for sure, too. Um, let's check this out. This must have been the other sign he was talking about. The Hanging City North. Uh, okay, let's go north. I didn't see a very clear path to the east. So we will just look at this one. There's the Hanging City. Okay. Oh, it's Timber Hearth. The old home world peep through the crack of some crazy shell planet. There. That's the... Those are the, uh... The, that's the wreckage. I'm very curious about that. On my next loop, that may be my first stop, depending on what we discover here. Um... I don't want to just jump it. I really don't. So I'm almost certain I'll die. Gravity is at 1.1. So, like, what can I jump? Uh, do I want to risk that? I blew it. And there's a black hole in this planet. Oh no. Can I survive it with a gravity assist? <laughs> Like, heading to this thing. Whew. What was that? I missed it. Ouch. Oh, lord. What is happening? Am I in deep space? Where the hell am I? That's Bramble Hearth over there, isn't it? Or no, um... Right there, that's that's where I just was. How did I get out here? Is this that thing with the lensing effect? Yes, it is. And all of a sudden it's surrounded by rubble. This stuff was not visible by satellite last time. But those are pieces of the planet I was on falling in here and coming out the other side. What is this place? Can I get in here? Yeah, I sure can. Man, look at the architecture in here. thing that at least refills my oxygen. And is there another way out now? Ah, that's some kind of alien airlock. There's one on the other side. These are the same things, huh? Yep, sort of irising doors. Oh, we have some gravity. Fascinating. Twin Ember Projection Stone. What? Translator. <clears throat> Poke says, Welcome to White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use the tower, stand on the warp platform on the floor and wait until the tower aligns with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. So this is saying... I think this is the station we're on. Going to Brittle Hollow. Huh. That's... Probably why it's called Brittle Hollow, huh? Because it's brittle and hollow. So I can just put that down anywhere, huh? But do I want to? 
think I want this thing, right? What happens if I go down? Oh, we find another rolling ball. What does this guy do for us? Can we get him in these little sockets? Show sure enough. And is it going to point towards Brittle Hollow? What is it doing here? Definitely set things in motion. Oh well. Well, this is extremely mysterious. Now can I get out of here just by flying up? No, I'm kind of trapped in gravity. To use the tower, stand on the warp platform on the floor and wait until the tower aligns with its corresponding astral body. Okay. So things are rotating. Do we wait for it to align with Brittle Hollow? there well we didn't teleport oh boy oh boy we sure did we sure did teleport We're back on brittle hollow let's check return warp status charged step onto warp platform when ready Departure time. What was that? Okay. So that's a fast teleport. That's a very, very fast teleport. That must... I mean, clearly, that's the teleport platform I just came in on. But let's keep looking around these ruins. I got pretty distracted from what I was doing when I fell into the heart of the planet. Feldspar's spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little scout. I do too. I do too use it, Hornfells, you burnt marshmallow. And the scout's integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any. But who knows? If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, whenever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. Boy, you have no idea, Feldspar. Maybe you do, man. Maybe you know secrets we don't. Ah, these are those jugs uh, we saw in the museum, or the observatory. Some know my art, if we're to be believed. What else is there? Interesting. Is that a humanoid figure? Perhaps. That symbol there? We see that symbol every time we die. That probably has some significance. Clary says, To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Inanna's original design, but as long as we what we built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Pokey, wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. Pokey, I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Pokey, don't tell Cassava. Oh, Lord. Felix, this is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. And goodbye, my friends. That's the end of this universe. Here we are again quick review of what we've learned. 
to know my dis rediscovered warp travel here on Brittle Hollow. We just learned that from the text. So, doesn't answer whether or not they came here with warp tech, or if they develop redeveloped it here. Hmm. That ship is launching a probe of some sort. An escape capsule. Well, everyone, that's another loop of the Outer Wilds, and uh, we learned a lot of stuff. Like, we learned that there's a black hole that lives in Brittle Hollow and is destroying the planet from the inside out. We've been to the warp station outside the solar system and learned how to use that. We've seen another supernova at close range, which is a pleasure not many people get to experience. But anyway, thanks for watching, and come on back for episode three.